Hi everyone, this is Jack of Cypress Learning and today I'm going to show you how to set up the email to case and email forwarding to your Salesforce. Let's start. First, you may want to go to your setup page by clicking this gear icon at the top right corner. Then select setup. On the quick find box, type email to case. Under the service, select email to case. This is just an introduction of what email to case is. You can just click continue. You may want to enable the email to case by clicking this edit button. Check the box. You may check all the boxes depending on your requirements. But for this video, I'm going to enable all the settings. Then click Save. There you go. Next, let's add a routing address. If you're using an Outlook, you can choose Outlook here. I'm going to use a Gmail account, so I'm going to choose Email to Case. Then click New. For the routing name, I'm going to use Routing Test. And the email address will be if you wanted to create the task when an email has been received or the case has been created, you can enable this create task from email by checking this box and select a task status. But for this video, I'm going to leave it as is. Now, for the case owner, if there's only one person who's handling the support email, you can select user. But if there are more than one person who's handling the support email, you can select queue. Okay, I'm going to select user and enter my name. There you go. For the case priority, you can choose high, medium, or low, depending on your requirement. And for the case origin, select email. Click Save, and then OK. You can see that the email address has been saved and the verification has been sent to your email. Now let's go to the email box. As you can see, we received the email verification from Salesforce. Click the link to verify. Click continue. Then go back to email to case settings. You can see that the email address that we use has been verified. Next, you may want to copy this email services address and go to your mailbox. Go to settings by clicking this gear icon on the top right corner. See all settings. Then go to forwarding. Add the forwarding email address, then paste the email service address. Click Next. Then click Proceed. Okay. As you can see that the email verification has been sent to the email services address and it's asking for the verification code. Let's go back to Salesforce. Let's go to Cases by clicking this App Launcher button. Type Cases. Select Cases. Then select All Open Cases. 
Here's the email verification from Gmail. To verify the service email address, you may copy this code to the confirmation box on your email settings. Or you can also open this link to a new tab. Then hit verify. Now select forward a copy of incoming mail to this email service address. Then select how would you like to store the original email depending on your requirement. Then hit save. Now that we have set up the email to case and email forwarding to your Salesforce, Let's do some testing. I'm going to open another email box. Create email. Let's send an email to the email address that we used. On the subject line, let's say, this case. The email body, let's say it is just a test email. Now let's hit send. There you go. Let's go back to another email box. As you can see, we received the test email. To verify that it is working, let's go back to cases. Select all open cases and it's there. There you have it. Thank you for watching.